<laughs> well, uh, the EPA is very important and as you can see, I'm speaking uh, today about all things nuclear. When that terrible accident at Fukushima happened, the worst nuclear accident in the world, three meltdowns, and Tokyo might still need to be evacuated. 30 million people, Tokyo is still very radioactive, but if building fire collapses with an earthquake, Tokyo has to be evacuated. Now, they poured so much radiation into the Pacific Ocean, they don't know how much. Terra becquerels, I mean, huge amounts. And the EPA is not, in its wisdom, testing a fish that swim thousands of miles from Japan, bioconcentrating radioactive elements to be caught here on your west coast. The EPA is criminal, number one. Evil. Number two, when the accident happened, the ambient levels of radiation in Seattle went up 40,000 times. The EPA, in its wisdom, stopped testing the air in America. Fallout fell all over America. Radioactive elements bioconcentrate 10, 100 times at each step of the food chain. Algae, crustaceans, little fish, big fish, us. You can't taste, smell or see them in the food. You don't know what food that's coming in is radioactive. It is their responsibility to test the food and they are not. And I heard that a message came down from the White House soon after the accident that no department, EPA, state or anything, should get involved in Fukushima because Obama is pro-nuclear power and he gets money from the nuclear industry. Now let me tell you about your country. You've got 104 reactors here, many of them, 21 of the old Mark 1 GE reactors that melted down at Fukushima. You are our own great danger. I've got a little girl here. How old are you? And what's your name? Erin Doddy. And here's a fetus in a tummy. Do you know that fetuses are thousands of times more sensitive to radiation than adults? Do you know that a single X-ray to a fetus doubles the incidence of leukemia in that child? Do you know that children living within two miles of reactors have more than double the incidence of leukemia because each reactor pours out a million picocuries a day of tritium and they have a high incidence of cancer. But they're not talking about that. That's the EPA's responsibility to protect our children and our fetuses from disease and malignancy. If a meltdown occurs, you can't evacuate. There's no way to evacuate. You're, it's not if but when there's a meltdown in your country. If it's near Washington, like North Anna, and it's blowing over Washington, hundreds of thousands of people are going to get acute, well, they'll get leukemia five years later and cancers 15 to 70 years later. The incubation time for cancer is not two days or three weeks, it's five to 70 years. And when you feel a lump in your breast or the lump in your leg or you cough up some blood, it doesn't identify its origin like you, you ate a Hershey's chocolates 20 years ago because thir Three Mile Island is 13 miles from Hershey's chocolates and the milk growing around there, the cows are grazing on radioactive soil. Don't eat Hershey's chocolates. Look, this is such a serious issue, and the radioactive waste left from reactors, 70,000 tonnes, must be stored according to the EPA rule for a million years, isolated from the environment. We can't do that. We'll all be dead soon. That is the legacy we leave to our children and our descendants. And as the radioactive waste leaks and get in, gets into the food, we will leave behind epidemics of cancer, leukemia and deformed babies forevermore. And we're not the only species that have genes. We're not the only species that have genes. All species, animals and plants have genes and they get mutated to cause genetic disease for those who are biologists. We're damaging the very building blocks of life from nuclear power. Random compulsory genetic engineering for the rest of time. The EPA must close down every single nuclear power plant in America. Now! 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 Okay. Now, there are more nuclear dangers on the horizon. I just want to talk about Iran. Physicians for Social Responsibility did a study 
and they dropped three nuclear weapons on two uranium enrichment facilities at Nahans and Isfahan because to penetrate deeply to destroy them you have to have nuclear weapons and maybe that's what Israel's planning and I saw an advertisement back there by Israel planning to do that for Christ's sake. The, the judgment is or the study showed that up to two, now listen to this, 2.6 million people could die within 48 hours if Israel does that all the way through to Afghanistan, India and Pakistan. That's nuclear genocide. How dare Israel think about that? Israel's got the third largest nuclear arsenal in the world. She, has, she will neither confirm nor deny she has nuclear weapons and she hasn't signed the non-proliferation treaty. That's arrogant. And if she is the model for the Middle East, of course all the other countries want them. Now, we're not to attack Iran. We talk to them. We negotiate. We've got to stop killing each other. And the people that get killed are the women and children. You need to know too that little girls are 20, twice as sensitive as little boys to radiation and children are 20 times more sensitive than adults to radiation and fetuses thousands of times. Now, the next thing I want to say is that America's got th over a thousand nuclear weapons, hydrogen bombs on hair trigger alert, ready to go with a three-minute decision time by, by Obama. And Russia has the same. Do you know that there are 60 hydrogen bombs targeted on this city? Do you know that if Russia by accident, and they nearly have many times, launches nuclear weapons, one bomb landing right here on the EPA would dig a hole half a mile wide and 300 feet deep, turning all the buildings, us and the earth below to radioactive fallout. Five miles from here in every direction, everyone is vaporized, turned into gas, leaving their shadows behind on the pavements. 20 miles out, everyone is lethally burnt and we can't treat lethal burns. People turn into missiles traveling at 500 miles an hour, sucked out of buildings. And the whole area engulfed in a conflagration of firestorm of 3,000 square miles and have only just dropped one bomb. Yeltsin got to within 10 seconds of pressing his button in 1995 by accident. The Chinese are hacking into the early warning system as we speak. A 16-year-old boy, brilliant, without very good frontal lobe development at the time, could, for fun, hack into the Pentagon early warning system and they're talking about it now at the Pentagon and blow us all up. So we live in acute nuclear danger and our children and our babies have no future. And these people that do this have a case of nuclear psychosis. Wow. So the Pentagon has to be taken on full frontal by the Occupy movement. And the, <laughs> it's time we occupied the Pentagon, I'll come with you. And it's time we occupied the Nuclear Regulatory Commission, which doesn't regulate but is paid for, and they're shills, they're nuclear prostitutes, they're paid for by the industry. Wow. Yeah. And the Congress is full of corporate prostitutes. Yeah. We know that. Well, it's time that we got rid of them. Now, I'll just tell you, the Congress belongs to you. It's time to occupy your Congress. But you have to all vote. You have no right to live in a democracy unless you vote. In Australia, voting is compulsory. We get fined $50 if we don't wow, vote. You, if you don't vote, go and live in Yemen. Don't live here. One, two, when you vote, that's not it. Then you have to know who your Congress people are, who your two senators are from each state. You have to go and see them every two weeks with a doctor, a child and a fetus and educate them. Read my book, Nuclear Power is Not the Answer. I'm not doing it to sell my book, but read it and you'll learn. Go and educate your Congress people and your senators because they're all scientifically and medically illiterate. That's why they do what they do, including these characters. And Obama, who I think has got a good mind and he cares, but he's a lawyer and he doesn't understand uh, biology or pathology or medicine. I need half an hour with Obama to teach him the medical effects of nuclear power because he's got two little girls who he adores. Now, once you educate the people in the Congress and you say, if you, don't, if you don't represent us, you're out next time, and then you have to get out and door knock and make sure they don't, they don't get re-elected. 
So the, the Congress people and senators are not your leaders. You are their leaders. The president is not your leader. You are his leaders. And he said that. That speech he gave in Prague to eradicate nuclear weapons, he said, I can't do it without you. That's us, the 99%. Let's get behind him to abolish nuclear weapons now between Russia and America, who own 97% of the 23,000 hydrogen bombs. Forget about Iran that has none. Forget about North Korea that's got two. Maybe it could blow up New York. But it's Russia and America that must take the stand, and it's America because Russia wants to, to abolish nuclear weapons. It's you. And America's developed the first weapons, and it's led the arms race all the way. You all came from all the four corners of the planet to be Americans, to save the earth. That's your destiny. And I do believe in the goodness and wisdom of American people once they learn the truth. And I'll just end by quoting Jefferson who said, an educated democracy will behave in a responsible fashion. So that's our responsibility as the Occupy movement to educate those bloody corporate prostitutes in Congress, the Congress people and the senators, and the president. And then we'll have a democracy, and then we'll abolish nuclear weapons, we'll close down the reactors, we'll save our children, who we love so much, and produce a safe future for them. Thank you.